following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Valley Spotlight. Let me introduce you to the game. Uh, Beth uh, Carmichael is subbing in for Lauren this week. Thank That's you for coming right. in. Hey, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. And I'm excited to be here. We're at Uncle Nick's Buena Vista Cafe, fried chicken, the, the works, and Nick himself. Are you Uncle Nick or is That's there an uncle dad. before That's you? That's my dad. That's okay. My that was my father. Okay. And so how many years at this location, Nick? Since 1956, 68 years. 68 years, and you've been years. coming here since? Oh, since I was a kid. My brothers all came here. My father, we used to sit right over there. Uh huh. So we had a great time, and my whole family loves it. Her, her father and my dad used to sit at the end, have their coffee, and smoke their cigars. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I love that. Yeah, I love nice. it. Is there something you used to get a lot? Um, still to this day, you know, I left the area for uh -huh. a few years, and then I came back. Greens. I think oh, Buena Vista's nice. greens are the best in the Mahoney Valley. Really? I know we're going to get complaints yes, about that. Yes, you are. Yes, that's why I stay, that. totally stay away from that, but, but you uh, go ahead. I've got that, and then um, their buffalo wings. I love the wings here. Really? They're great. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. 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 And chicken. It's got to be chicken. It's got to be chicken. You do chicken a little different way, right? Yes. I learned this from talking to you a long time ago. Yes. What we do is we marinate it. Uh -huh. we, uh, we, we trim every piece of chicken we get in. Mm -hmm. We marinate it for over oh, 24 hours. And then we serve it in a pressure fryer. And that's it. So it's, it's just a marinade my father came up with years and years ago that uh -huh. we still use today. What's the pressure cooking do to the chicken, in your the, opinion? The pressure cooking, other than like a, like just a basket fryer that you put down in a grease, mm -hmm. a pressure fryer it works with steam and grease. So it rotates your chicken. I see. It, 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 it rolls. It rolls. Yeah. And that's the difference in the pressure chicken. Uh, Would you mind taking us through some of the items here? And then I'm going to ask you to take us through some of the ones that are on the bar that we sure. couldn't fit here. But start here. This is, it, when you come here, it's like Buena Vista Jenga. Like everything, <laughs> you don't even, you're scared to touch it because the whole thing by Top Lover. But go ahead. This is? This is our signature, the chicken parm, uh -huh. which we, we sell a, a ton of that. Which we're a, a, a six ounce chicken breast with our spaghetti, or you get any type of pasta you would like. Whatever your choice is, you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a pork chop here we have on special. We sell just a, t a ton of them. Chef Emily does a great That's job with that. Huge. You can get it any way you like. You can get it grilled or a, her special sauces on it. Anything you want. Like I said, if we have it, we'll make it for you. And then, of course, our signature Uncle Nick's Greek Fried Chicken. And you know our motto. If the Colonel had a recipe, he'd have been a general. That's right. That's and, right. Uh, we, sell, we sell 171 tons a year. Wow! Really? So that's a lot. That's a lot of. That's a lot of birds. It, does it anyone is. get this just for themselves? This whole thing? Well, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, don't, good. Don't oh, sell absolutely. anybody out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You don't have to say the name, but is <laughs> yeah. there a person that comes and that's oh, their dinner? Yeah, um, you remember Pete Johnson? Uh -huh. who played for Ohio State. Of course. Yeah, Bank. big fullback. Well, Pete, Pete used to come in all the time for Mr. Cavelli's golf outing. Uh huh. Right. So when he'd come down here, he'd, buy, he'd order 16 pieces of chicken, 12 <laughs> potatoes, and, and, and trust me, don't get near them. Uh -huh. It'll it have been ugly. So yeah, so Pete Johnson will eat 16 pieces at a city. Oh right? my gosh. We have some pictures of the nachos. Do the nachos have a fun, nachos. fancy name? Uh, you know, that's Emily's nachos. And that's, <laughs> that's what they're called? Yeah, it's just Emily's nachos. She, uh, she, she's so creative, and she, she just has special, special things and creates special stuff. And you know what? She's never been to school. She just learned from everybody else here. She uh -huh. just has a special thing about cooking. It's that's outstanding. Right. I got about 30 seconds left. We have three fish dishes that mm -hmm. we wanted to show. Yes. One's salmon. Mm -hmm. One's salmon. And that's over, uh, I believe she has her over potatoes with uh, with uh, asparagus. Mm -hmm. We have our baked fish that we always have every Friday. Okay. And we have salmon every Friday. Uh, any day, actually any day. Then we have the ultimate fish sandwich, which is our dinner piece of fish, 10 to 12 ounce uh, cod pe of fish mm -hmm. with uh, coleslaw, hot peppers, and cheese on it, stuff like that. Just a little something different for a sandwich. That's huge. I think that I know. sandwich is it's huge. Bigger than the dish. Yes. Oh my bigger gosh. Than the, yeah. Bigger than. It is, you call it Moby Nick. <laughs> I like oh, that. You, there you we get go. it? I think you found something nice. See? <laughs> Take that, Emily. Hey, I like You're not the only creative person. But. Well, thank you for having us. Hey, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. And we're going to show you around in a little bit. But uh, first, I want to talk, since we're talking about seafood, mm -hmm. and it's Lent for a lot of people, mm -hmm. there's a place, if you're tired of the fish fries and the pierogies, you can get your own seafood, and they'll teach you how to cook it too. We'll take you out oh, to Sharpsville right now. That's good. That's neat. Yeah. That's neat. Sushi, top of the, top of the line tuna. Okay. Can't get wrong. Chilean sea bass. 
Can't go wrong. I mean, my salmons are top of the line. Ed Rocco knows his fish. He's loved going fishing for decades. And about a decade ago, he was on vacation with his wife, Melanie, and he got his epiphany. Well, we were in North Carolina on vacation. I was fishing, of course. Uh -huh. And we went to look around and I said, we need this up home. Uh -huh. And I just, the light turned on and I said, okay, I'm gonna do it. I, I painted for the union for a while and I left that and I started my own business. And 35 years later, I got sick of it and I wanted to be, open a seafood store. So Great Depths Seafood was born. There were some hurdles. Ed had to keep painting while he opened the store to pay the bills. And also the store is in Sharpsville, which is nowhere near the ocean. I have to. Okay. That's why we're only open three days a week. Okay. Because if I would be open one more day, the fish will be four days old before I get it. Mm. I don't want that. Okay. So now that I'm open, I, I get fish this morning and I'll get fish tomorrow morning. So I have fresh for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Right, and that freshness really makes a difference. When you cook it and taste it alone, yeah. we'll show you that it's amazing. The freshness, you can't go wrong. And the, the healthiness of this of this fish compared to grocery store fish, uh -huh. it's amazing. It's out of this world. People don't understand until they take it home and eat it. Also, out of this world is the customer service. If it's hot out, Ed and Melanie will pack your purchase on ice for you. And if you don't know how to cook it, Ed loves to help. All day long, every day. <laughs> and that's great, and I love it. And we wrote down our, my, some of my recipes. We have them, you just come take them. Uh -huh. But I have other ideas that I like to try to... It, if I like it, I figured everybody else should like it. Yeah. They're afraid of it. Everybody's afraid. It's easier than boiling your macaroni. It's serious, yeah, literally. The, the, the rule of thumb, 350, half an hour, butter, garlic, and onions. Works for any fish. Any fish on there. <laughs> and then you move on. Uh -huh. Try it simple, and then you move on to something different. We can get you to cook anything anyway. Still nervous? The Roccos have some things you can just grab and go. Their ginger calamari salad is a huge hit. And so are the burgers and the dogs. Different though. We're trying to get people turned on. One of my favorite things is the uh, salmon hot dogs. I saw the sign. Oh. My God, my wife's burgers are the top of the line. Salmon burgers, uh -huh. she makes them. They're the top of the line. I mean, they're the best stuff in the world, but the hot dogs, people get all, ooh, it's salmon. No, it's not. It's, you'll taste like a hot dog. Really? Mm -hmm. But it's, it's so much better for you. Worth the trip and the taste. So much so that Ed and Melanie promise you won't be the one that got away. They buy their fish salmon at the grocery store, come in and say, I want to try yours. I'll give you a piece. They come back and said, I've never tasted nothing like that. I said, exactly. <laughs>He sent me home with some salmon. Really? He sent me home with some walleye. Nice. Which I'd never had before. What? I know. I think Mike the only and I person. have traveled together on business. Right. And I have introduced him to so many new foods. And how can you not have had walleye well, when I have living now. Here. And he taught me how to cook it. So it was delicious. <laughs> Thank you to Ed and uh, Melanie and the gang. So really cool. All right. We'll take our break. Okay. When we come back, we're going inside the big clock. What? In downtown Youngstown. All right. That's what we do. That's More Valley cool. Spotlight after this. Yay. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. RC Compounding specializes in custom medications to meet your individual needs. Our staff can compound medications in unique dosage forms for everyone in your family, even your pets. For us, we have standards, we have testing, we have personnel training. Everything, every single product that we dispense, we can assure um, that it meets all standards and above and beyond. RC Compounding, we care about your health. Welcome back to 
the Valley Spotlight at Buena Vista here in downtown Warren. Yes. My first time eating here. I've been here before. No. I know. See, you just hang with me and you get to do all these different cool experiences. That's true. I did have a cool experience when I was working on the news. I went, I did a live remote inside the clock tower of the home savings Really? Building. Yeah, and um, it's it's really different and the, and the hands are really heavy. You have to be, like they lose time when they come up and they gain time when they go wow. down because of the gravity and stuff. Yeah. So. And it's daylight savings time this weekend. So if people are watching and you haven't time. moved your clock, right. then spring forward. You've spring missed the forward. show. You That's probably right. missed the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go to Youngstown. <laughs> We're here on the roof of Home Savings and Loan with Steve Puhala. It's windy up here today, Steve. It certainly is. But we're not going to get blown away. We're going to climb this tower and get inside the clock, right? Yes, we are. We are here at Home Savings and Loan with Deb and Steve, and we are about to scale the ladders to the clock tower, a place that not very many people have been. And we are now at the top of Home Savings and Loan inside the clock tower, and I am here with Steve Puhala and several other witnesses that climbed up here. How are you doing today? Great, great. Now, I have a few questions I want to ask you. One, who's responsible for keeping the time correct on this clock? Oh, that's the time gnome that's up here regularly. So um, actually, no, we have a maintenance staff that, that uh, maintains the clock regularly. And we also have a microprocessor-based computer in the basement that, that controls the, the time on the clock, so. Now, I know that there was a time when there wasn't a microprocessing computer in the basement. How did it go then? That's true, they used to wind the clock by hand and there was a pendulum with a 2,000 pound weight on it and it was uh, wound weekly. Did it wind down? Oh yeah, it wound down and, and it didn't keep very, very accurate time, so it was decided to replace it. Did you get calls and things like, the clock is wrong today? You bet. <laughs> if I'm off two minutes, uh, even today, we get calls. So Steve, uh, what happens in daylight savings time? When the time changes in the spring, we spring ahead. So. We go to that computer I mentioned earlier, and we go down and flip a little switch, and it, it, will, it will advance rapidly for 60 minutes. You mean if somebody was outside watching, they'd see the hands spin around? Oh, absolutely. It takes, a, it takes some time, but it probably takes about 10 minutes to gain an hour. But That's still pretty fast. It's pretty fast. And in the fall, we do just the opposite. We turn the impulse off and just sit there and wait for an hour before it, uh, uh, before it catches up. Here I am, still up in the Tower of Home Savings and Loan, but now I am right next to a very large speaker. This speaker dongs the dong of the time of day. But years ago, and maybe not even that many years ago, it used to play music at designated times of the day, even seasonal music during like Christmas time. I'm glad it's not going right now. Now, Deb, yes. I know you were the first one out in the, the surround where the speakers are in the tower. What was it like out there? It was awesome. Um, I'm not afraid of heights, so if you are, I would recommend going up there. But um, <laughs> it was just really cool to see just kind of the vista of the whole city from every side. And I took a few pictures up there, of course, but just seeing the stadium at YSU and and you can see practically all the way to Boardman. It's, it's amazing out there. Nice job, Paula. That was Agreed. pretty cool. That, was pretty that is cool. very cool. All right, Beth introduced me to foie gras 
Foie gras, yes. Is that how you say it? Yes. And now uh, I'm going to learn That's about right. ceviche. Ceviche. Which and you, Oaxaca taco. I'm sure you know more about that, love too, it. than I do. I love it. Yeah. I love it, love so it. So let's go to Pesto's Test Kitchen. It'll be great. Right now. Pesto's Test Kitchen on the road at Oaxaca today with Mark Here we Pinto are at Oaxaca that. Taco. I know, it's so fun here. I know, it's different than being downtown where it's a story downtown. Uh-huh. Uh, this location, I don't Less know how historic. it's historic. <laughs> Less historic. Just I think the fun. 50s this building was built, it was a bank back in the day. Is that true? It, very true. I mean, a matter of fact, I know if we have a tornado, I know exactly where I'm going. Oh. The vault room, and it doesn't have a vault door anymore, but you can go in there and I think you'd be pretty safe. We've had the weirdest weather. Who knows if a tornado is going to pop up, right? It's like 60 right Today now. Today we're taping and it's in the 60s, but by the end of the day, it's going to be in the 20s. It's crazy. Then it's going to go right back up. So, anyway. I'm going to be in Mexico in three days, so that's a that's that's a good thing for me. And speaking of Hispanic fare, yes. uh, I wanted to talk about ceviche because and this it's on was the a, menu. A you you asked for this, right? It's on the menu here at Oaxaca. Right? It is. It is. And from time to time at Bistro. Okay. So ceviche, from what I understand, is you have raw fish. Yes. But you pour lime juice on it, and the juice cooks the fish. The citric acid in the the lime, lemon juice, uh -huh. and quite honestly, well, let's talk about ceviche. Okay. Originated in Peru, the country of Peru, okay. over 2,000 years ago. Really? And that was a way for them, if they didn't have a fire, they could cook the fish if they didn't want to eat it raw back then. Mm -hmm. So what they would do is they would catch the fish, and then they would um, they would just cure it with, back then it was passion fruit juice they used. No kidding. And if you've ever had a true passion fruit, they're very, very tart and very citric. So and my guess is that would actually cure that much quicker than lime juice. And it makes you think, well, if I drink lime juice, what's that doing to my stomach? If it can cook fish, is well, it Well, I think bad? the natural acids in our stomach kind of like we knock that out. one down. Okay, all right, very I mean, good. once in a while, so we're gonna use grouper here, so we're gonna add some grouper. Uh-huh. And I think grouper's a great fish. You can use grouper, you can use cod, you can use any fish you want. You can use calamari, you can use shrimp, you can use crab, anything you want to. Mm -hmm. So we want to have a little bit of chili. So we have a little bit of Serrano chili. Ooh, I'm, you know what, I'm going to do the Lauren cam while you do this. Okay. I'll just get We're some We're going to have some Mexican oregano. And Mexican oregano is kind of like, I like Sicilian oregano as well, but Mexican oregano really, really has that great perfume to it. Okay. We're going to add some tomatoes. Okay. And this, these, these ingredients, you can interchange these a little bit. You have to have a bunch of fresh chopped cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, I guess use parsley, but uh -huh. cilantro really makes it. Some Mexican white onion. Okay. Some cucumber, which adds a great texture. And cucumber is also part of a very, very, another Mexican dish, aguachile, which uses cilantro juice, cucumber juice, and lime juice to cure the fish. Okay. And that's one of my favorites every time I go there. We want to hit it with some salt. A touch of oil. Oh, I was gonna say, is that the lime juice? It's no, 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 the lime juice, we're gonna do oil. right here. And lime juice, you know, if you don't have a, a, a juicer, you just take a spoon, take a fork, take a pair of tongs just and squeeze it. Dig it in there, huh? Just get it in there. And we're gonna let this cure for an hour or two. I mean, sometimes they give it to you right away. And that gives you like a little bit, like a sushi ceviche. Uh -huh. But we just wanna toss this up. And look at how bright and vibrant those it's colors beautiful. are. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, do you, see, I was thinking you were gonna cook the fish and then add the other no, stuff. No, 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 not at all. Why? Well, I mean, you could. You could cook the fish first, but you want all those other vegetables to have that same bright liminess. Okay, how long does it take to start cooking and how long it's do you? It's cooking now. Okay. It's already started the process. My guess, and those are about half inch cubes of meat. My guess is 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes, and that's gonna be completely cured and ready to, to be eaten. Okay. Take so, it, wrap it, put it in your refrigerator. That's my let, next question. Let it get happy. Put it in the and fridge. And this thing should be consumed in two days. Okay. Not that it's gonna go bad, but it's gonna continue to cook, and then once it cooks too much, it's like rubber. Okay. So you wanna eat it. And it, it smells so good. I mean, I wanna eat that whole bowl now. Right. So how long would you do it again? Uh, cured, I bet, 45 minutes to an hour and 15. In the fridge? In the fridge, covered. Is there a certain fish that's better or worse? You picked grouper, but I think I've seen grouper, it with shrimp. Grouper, bass, shrimp. I mean, they're all really, really good. I mean, one of my favorite dishes in Mexico is the shrimp agua chile. I, I pretty much eat it every day by the pool. It's just an amazing flavor because you have that juice of the, of the cucumber and the cilantro in with that lime juice and it's a really really bright green mm -hmm. so it's like very festive green when you look at it and the flavors are just 
unreal. And this is pretty popular. Like a I lot think, of people love this, right? Yeah, and you can serve this when you go to serve this. You can serve it with a, a myriad of different things. I mean, the most common thing to serve it with is uh, corn tortilla chips. Okay. It's very, very popular. But you can use plantain chips. You know, you could use different root vegetable chips that you fried or dried out. Every, anything will be really, really good with this as a vessel. Can you do it with meat and pork and stuff, or would you, should you just stick well, with it? Well, I mean, the Greeks have something called souvlakia, where there's there's the addition of lemon juice to a pork or a chicken kebab, uh -huh. and that kind of cures it as well. I mean, the Italians, we have carpaccio, and you know you take the lemon juice oh, over yeah. the rare thin sliced beef, and that will that will cook it as well. Same idea. Yeah, same idea. All right. Anytime you add lime or any acidic kind of juice, to a protein that's gonna start cooking it via a different method. Gotcha. Well, let's take our break. Yeah. And then when take we a come break. back, we'll see the finished product and see we're what's gonna on see the menu the, here. Yeah, we're gonna see what's on the menu here. I mean, I think we know, but let's do it again. All right, more uh, te Pesto's Test Kitchen in just a bit. All right, so we put it all together and then we're gonna eat it in the next uh, segment. We so, are? Yeah, we are. Well, all right, we are. Then. We are. We are. <laughs> we're not, but that's okay. All right, we'll take our break. Yes. We come back. We're just going across the street. I know, in the same neighborhood as Oaxaca Taco. Absolutely. We have a new segment for okay. you after this break, so stick around. More Valley Spotlight from Buena Vista. You're going to love it here. Please come visit, right? Absolutely. One of the best to. in town. Agreed. Your eyes are two of the most important parts of your body, so it's best to take care of them. Optical Solutions in the Austintown Plaza offers comprehensive eye exams, medical eye care, LASIK and cataract evaluation, and more. Contact lenses in all types, plus eyewear from budget to designer frames. Optical Solutions is your complete eye care destination. Covered by most insurance carriers, contact Optical Solutions today to make your appointment. 330-797-8780. Hills is the low-cost living anti-inflation department store. Shop Hills in the Liberty, Lincoln Knowles, and Bourbon Plaza's Youngstown, and the Richmond Plaza in Warren, and the Hills location in Champion, all over in 10 till 10 daily. Safety is our top priority at Barina's Automotive Center when we're taking care of your vehicle. We invest in the latest equipment to service the newest makes and models and keep our team's education up to date on the latest skills and techniques. At Barina's, we provide a free digital vehicle safety inspection so you can actually see what we see and understand our recommendations. Barina's Automotive Center on Robbins Avenue in Niles. Call 330-652-AUTO today and get your car back on the road safe and sound. I'm Barbara Corcoran. In Youngstown, the agent I trust is Kelly Warren. Kelly can give you a guarantee to sell your home, instant offer, and the best marketing strategies in the Mahoning Valley. Get the option that's right for you. Go to kellysolda.com. Whether it's dinner out with friends and family or your next catered event, Rachel's Restaurant in Austintown always makes it special and delicious. Award-winning cuisine, relaxing atmosphere, and so much more. Rachel's Restaurant, Austintown. Mike Case, Beth Carmichael back here on Valley Spotlight here at Buena Vista. Open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. Close on Sunday and Monday. Yes. Very good. Absolutely. Beth just had lunch. And now I we do. just put a big helping of food in front of I her. I know. I did. I had the greens and I had the wings. But, I mean, who can, I mean, we to have to try this. It's We're going to have to try it. So Go ahead. I'll All tell right. the folks about a new segment we have uh, with Dr. Chris Eftemieu. Uh, he's a chiropractor, but he works on joints and knees and hips and ankles mm -hmm. and backs and stuff like that. So here's our new segment, and we're going to learn about a new machine called, uh, well, he'll tell you the name. It's Active Living with Dr. Chris. Sounds good. This is how I describe it to patients. So think of a jelly donut, okay? With the jelly on the inside. So if you were to go ahead and step on that jelly donut, you see how that jelly starts to come out. That's what it's like to have a herniated disc. And Dr. Chris sees it all the time, along with some other symptoms. When people are coming in neck pain, uh, back pain, uh, sciatica, numbness, tingling, shoulder pain, burning down the extremities. Mm -hmm. Thankfully for us, he has a machine that can help. The machine that we have here, it's, it's a DRX 9000 non-surgical spinal decompression. Bigger than me and way smarter too, it's sitting right here in the office. But not so fast. Patients need to get a thorough evaluation and an MRI first to make sure this is the proper treatment. 
So an MRI, it's more for soft tissue. So it's, uh, you know, our discs are water, okay? So an MRI is very sensitive to that, okay? So it's picking up the sensitivity if the disc is herniated, if it's bulged and it's extrusion, and it tells us at what level and what level it's putting pressure on the nerve. Once patients qualify to be a candidate, Doc and his team will strap you in and get you started. You've heard the term traction before. Mm -hmm. Traction just is a linear static pull. The machine that we have creates a vacuum, okay? So it's pulling for 60 seconds and relaxing for 30 seconds. So it's actually pushing um, water, nutrients, and blood back into that disc to, to help retract it to a certain degree. And we're gonna run. One minute stop for 30 seconds. That's creating that pump effect. So it stretches you out and then lets you relax over and over. And people that have been suffering for a long time, they feel the relief. I want to say 90% of the time it's more of a chronic thing. I mean, we do give people that are in auto accidents that have an acute herniation, but the more majority of these herniations take decades to manifest. Some people feel relief in the first session. Some feel it after 10. But the science and documented results show this machine really works almost every time. So we're using uh, literature from medical doctors, the McClure study, which shows that there is a 91% success rate in the machines that we use in our clinic. 91%. That's the research talking. But when the patient talks, that's what makes this worthwhile. We just had a person this morning, you know, it's the first time I slept in four years. Um, so there's, there's gratifying things. You, I can actually feel my legs. I can actually feel my arms. How does that make you feel? Fantastic. I mean, that's, you know, people, that's what they come here for, right? Yeah. It is alive. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Chris. The machine stretches you out and then, and then pushes you back. It's amazing. I know, it's technology amazing. these days. You just want to go and try it now. Right. Uh, all right. You know people that in, that have towns around the globe that have their own charcuterie places where you can order and pick them up. That's right. A lot of larger towns, a lot right. of cities. Palm Springs is where I got to experience that. There you go. Well, there was a need in this community, and a, a local family decided that they were going to open a place That's called cool. Boards to Gather. So they put the board in Boardman. Yeah. <laughs> I knew almost zero, except I like to eat it, right? Like I didn't know anything, so. Ron Taylor didn't pretend to be a cheese expert, but things are different now that he and his wife, Lori, have opened Boards to Gather, a charcuterie store in Boardman. My favorite is we have a Gouda cheese that it's like an aged Gouda. It's a flavor that you've never really had, salt pockets in it from the aging process. That's what education, listening to a cheese podcast, and filling a need in this area will do for you. We love charcuterie. We enjoy ordering them at restaurants and we like having them, but then when we were looking for them locally, like to be able to have them for events or backyard picnics or parties at the house, we had a hard time finding them. Not anymore. On the corner of Market Street and Western Reserve Road, this store just opened up. Now other cities have similar concepts, but not here. And now they're good enough to get started. We knew we had to have like really high-end meats and quality cheeses, right? So not anything that you could just go to Sam's Club or Walmart and buy. So we wanted to get some stuff that was higher end. We knew that's what we had to have. The issue was keeping the price down to valley expectations. Wooden boards are expensive. That's the way the blue cheese crumbles, but they found a perfect alternative. So we use a compressed palm leaf from a company called Charity Leaf. It's not as expensive, it's incredibly durable, but it's 100% sustainable, it's compostable, it checks all the boxes that you need, and it helps us control the cost so we can offer it to hopefully a larger group of people. And they can offer it quickly. If you're a procrastinator like me, you can get it in the same day or just pick up a personal box for lunch or dinner. So that was one of the things that we wanted to do differently, right? Because a lot of places that were doing it, like you had to give them a lot of notice, you had to give them a lot of lead time. So we really wanted to use our experience to kind of cut that down. Our goal is to be able to take same day orders and have a board together for you in probably 30 to 45 minutes. And the options are endless. Obviously, we have some of your standard meats, but we have um, a Soterio rosemary ham that we rough cut. It's delicious. It's 
you know, very lean, good rosemary flavor, not too salty. And then we have a beef brujol, and so it's a really lean beef, shaved thin that we roll. The list goes on and on. Are you hungry yet? Well, save room for the dessert board too. We wanted a variety in the boards. We did know we wanted to do that. Like we didn't want to just be a one trick pony, right? So we wanted to be more things to more people uh, because we knew that maybe you were having an event and maybe you needed food, but maybe you also wanted some form of dessert. We didn't want you to necessarily have to go somewhere else to get that. Roll through the drive-through or stop in and pick up. Call an order or go online to make it your own. Because people got so comfortable during the pandemic shopping online, we just wanted to make sure that guest experience was tremendous online. So you can go right on the website, you can do the board exactly the way we pick it for you, or you can customize, you can pick your meats and cheeses and make it more towards your particular flavor profile that you want. You'll look like the big cheese to your friends and family, and the menu will reflect our feedback. We really are happy with what we have right now because we have some things that are very straightforward and some things that you probably have never tried before. Uh, so we'll have to kind of see how everybody responds to it and then we can make adjustments. I am a sucker for meat and cheese. I know. And that's and nachos. The, and the best thing is, the next place we're going to go is the sub stop in Newton Falls. Yes, you've been there. This is one oh. of your truly Trumbull Trip ideas, it right? It is. Really, it's fun. It's cool. They do all fresh ingredients. It's delicious. You have people coming off of Interstate 80 just to go to the sub shop. Very good. Lauren yeah. took a trip. Let's take a look back. Yeah. My name is Nick, welcome to Substop, and we make grilled fresh to order subs. Why this is important to me is we're all about making fresh cooked to order food. So when I opened this place, my focus was on making food that's not pre-cooked, frozen, preservative filled stuff that comes off of a truck. I wanted to grill chicken and steak fresh cooked to order. That's, that's been just our focus since we've been here. All you gotta do is look at our Google reviews. Uh, people say it's the best cheesesteak they've ever had. Uh, we get constant, constant references to it being close to a boardwalk Philly like in New Jersey, or obviously a, a cheesesteak like you're in Philadelphia. Um, a cheesesteak is really different to everybody. We hear people it, from Pittsburgh or Philadelphia or Cleveland tell us how it should be. And, Regardless how they feel it should be, they love ours. And we've had nothing but compliments on it. Uh, we make our own cheese sauce. It's very unique. It's made with white American, white sharp cheddar, and Munster cheese. People love that. Uh, the, our Italian was also a big seller because we make our own Italian dressing and it has four meats on it, capicolo, ham. People love that one. We felt that this place right here across from, from the post office with Shop and Save, and now we have other businesses that help and are wonderful to us that attract customers. Um, we just felt that what we do unique would fit well in this area. And it was a gamble, just like anything, but it's paid off and we're very happy to use it. I would say treating people better than just a dollar sign, I think is the best way to say it. Uh, I, I am blessed with one of the best staffs I've ever had. Uh, they, I don't have to be here and I know they're, the restaurant's in good hands, you, the customer's in good hands because they're just braggable, they're fantastic. We're so blessed to be so close to the uh, turnpike exit that people stop in on their travel from, I've heard from Utah to me because for whatever reason they're using the turnpike. So. Uh, they'll Google restaurant near me and then they come and they've left again great reviews uh, Now that we've been here four years. I've actually seen people on their summer travels come back the next summer From wherever they're from actually I, you said you're from Chicago We've had some customers that stop in on their way from Chicago to somewhere up in the Northeast that they go so the travel is just something that we're very familiar with, especially in the summer. A lot of people from Pittsburgh come in. We've had some customers move from this area out towards Pennsylvania, and they'll make a, a trip just to come out here to eat. I do enjoy a toasted sub. See, 
Then you stick with me. I'll you take got you all I'll the get ideas. You all good food I'll ideas. I'll be 330 pounds by the time we're done, but it'll be <laughs> totally, totally worth it. All right, speaking of food, when we come back, we're going back out to Pesto's Test Kitchen. I'm really proud of you for trying all these new things. Ceviche. I mean, really. Yeah, after this break. <laughs> Our customers are always part of the equation of everything we try to do. We don't have a Hillcrest label that we're trying to push on you. We don't have stockholders we're trying to make profit for. There's no out-of-state corporate office. The competitive advantage for Hillcrest over our national competition really is sustainable pricing, number one, the service, and caring about what the customer needs, not our agenda. It's tough to get off course when that's your focus. A to Z Dependable Services now offers walk-in tubs and showers in as little as one day. Let us create a safer bathing experience in your bathroom or the shower of your dreams. Call A to Z Dependable Services today for a free estimate or visit us online at onlyatoz.com. For nearly 80 years, Cafe 422 has been the Valley's premier destination for steaks, seafood, and fine Italian cuisine. Join us at Cafe 422 for lunch, dinner, and all of your special occasions. Cafe 422 in Warren and Boardman. Pets are part of the family, and at RC Compounding, their pharmacists make your pet a priority. Pain management is a big one with animals, especially if they have cancer or like end of life. They're unable to take tablets or capsules, and we're able to customize it into a solution that an owner could administer um, pretty easily without, you know, difficulty of having them swallow a tablet or capsule if they're not able to. RC Compounding, we care about your health. Here on Pasto's Test Kitchen, you can hear the what am I making back there? Chicken? Uh, she is oh, doing the achote yeah. chicken. Uh, a matter of fact, you are correct. It sounds good. It smells it's sizzling. Good. It sounds good. I know. Just like when we were back at our Chi-Chi's days, we always talked about the sizzling fajitas. It's hot back here. It's hot. I mean, what did your neck smell like after you took out about 30 of those? We, my mom, used to take my jacket and all my clothes and hang them outside because they could not stand the smell. Mm -hmm. My stepmother, Char, she would make us grip in the garage and take them immediately to the washing machine. I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. This doesn't smell bad at all. It's ceviche. Yeah. Again, we're going back 2,000 years old in, in the methodology of making this. If they just tuned in, tell them the ingredients and what we did. Well, today we put, took some grouper. We uh -huh. took some lime juice, which is very important because the lime juice actually cooks it. We took some fresh, uh, some very finely chopped uh, serrano chili, which is a little bit hotter than a jalapeno, mm -hmm. just a little bit. Some cucumber, tomatoes, Mexican white onions. Um, cilantro, Greek, Greek, not Greek, sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, folks. Mexican oregano. Yeah. What the heck am I thinking? I don't know. We were, we were talking about, about the Greeks blood. earlier, so. Yeah, and you just mix it together, marinate it, let it get covered in a bowl, put it in the fridge, let it get happy for about 45 minutes to an hour and 15. Mm -hmm. You can sub out shrimp. When I sub out shrimp, if it's a larger shrimp, I like to cut them in half lengthwise because that makes them, they cook a little bit quicker. Okay. And then underneath there's some avocado. Some avocado because the avocado goes really, really well with the spice of the chili. Mm -hmm. So it kind of tames that down a little bit. So what you want to do, Mike, yeah, is so you we just make wanna, one up. Go ahead, grab a chip. Okay. I'll grab a spoon from over here. All right. And just take a you piece of avocado. avocado. First? Yeah, I like an avocado down first. All right. And then just a little bit of the ceviche. And that's just gonna be real happy. Well, something got my mouth. It's so good. This blows me away because you have a little bit of a list of foods you eat. I do. You a, will approach. I do have a black list of foods I do. And you eat. definitely have the black list. And you're surprised at this. If I put all of them that, you wouldn't eat it. Not a chance. I think we've been doing this for a while. It's a different culture altogether. I mean, just with the crispiness of the chip, plus a little bit of the extra chili lime dust you see on the chip right there. That this just blends so really, really well together. And it's so good for you. And out on the patio this spring, uh -huh. with a margarita or a seltzer, it's gonna be fantastic. And it makes you feel like I can eat as much conqueso as I want, not worry about it because this is so healthy. This is the alternative. This is the healthy version of conqueso. Oh, oh it's so good. All right, so this is on the menu here while- On, on the menu right now. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's it's been a great addition because of blend, mm -hmm. and I think we're gonna keep it, along with our fish and shrimp tacos. 
So if you want to get it here, you can. If you want to call in and pick it up, you can do that too. And you can do a lot of things. You can come, you can, you don't even have to walk in the building and get right through the drive through pickup window. Awesome. Thank Good you, sir. Stuff. My friend. Good job. I will send you pictures from Mexico of oh, some of this. That is a ceviche lesson. <laughs> yeah, I want to see some pictures. We'll have to do a Mexican shrimp cocktail one time. Because mm, that has some interesting that. ingredients. And at the end, one of the ingredients is orange pop. I love that. Orange soda, if you can believe it. This one would be one of my favorite pesto <laughs> test kitchens. <laughs> All right, brother. I ate that whole, like when the shooting was done <laughs> and people started to disappear, I just kept scooping it up with the, the chips. I felt like it was good for me. It is. The chips probably Let's call were, it. But yeah. Let's call it healthy and... Please, you know. let's, let's call it that. <laughs> All right, uh, Lauren went to, to the mall in Boardman, Southern Park Mall, yes. and did a segment on one of those places where you can paint on plates and cups. Those are cool. Things like that. Great ideas if you have like parties and right. all or sorts of gifts. things. It's a great idea for kids. Absolutely. So you're going to see some good gift ideas in That's this right. edition of Shop Talk. This week's Shop Talk takes us to the Southern Park Mall and the Art Cafe and Eva Popovic, who's been here for how long, Eva? 10 years. Always in the same space? Actually, no. This is our third location uh -huh. right here inside the Southern Park Mall, but three different places from a small to medium to large. Yeah, and it is big here and gorgeous. And the whole uh, crux behind the event is you come in and you do, you can paint or you can do whatever you want, right? Absolutely. Give yes. us an Not idea. Not everything you Not want. Not everything, okay. within reason, yeah. <laughs> However, yes, you can create just about any piece of pottery, make memories with your little ones or big ones or whatever it is that you want to do, we'll help you through the whole process. And what's nice is they have enough space here where you're able just to, if you're at the mall and you have a few minutes, you can just come in and Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Just come in. You just are welcome. In. Yes. But if you have a big group, it's not a bad idea to make an appointment. Absolutely. Because we can customize the setting, whatever they need. If you want to bring refreshments, uh, food, smoothies, whatever it is, chicken for a pizza just bring it in feel at home this is what we love to do here you know just to welcome you mm -hmm. and put you at ease very nice and I, I noticed you have a little event room on yes, the side if you want yes, to do more yes. of a private event and I'm sure people take advantage of that oh, right most definitely yes what kind of groups well it could be a birthday party mm -hmm. it could be a retirement party it could be team building why not just mm -hmm. bring everybody from your office and create and be together and have the opportunity to to just socialize outside the setting and it's amazing what you see in the personality but when everybody paints something you mm -hmm. can actually see their personality so why not and you have somebody here helping them right oh most definitely yes yeah. yes do you yes. find that people do stuff for themselves or do you see that they do it for other people and you end up giving it as gifts well I, both. A little How, both however sometimes they come in and they're like oh I need to make a gift for so and so and they, they get so attached to this piece of pottery mm -hmm. that they're not, I'm not letting go. Oh, I make this mug for somebody, <laughs> but I'm keeping it I'll because keep it boy, did I, they feel so accomplished. This is the time um, of year where everybody's kind of scrambling for Christmas gifts yes, and things like yes. that. This is something really neat. Hold yours up. I'm going to hold mine up. These are, um, this is a pan that you would actually bake something in, yes. but you're able to actually put grandma's recipe in the pan wow, and yes. then bake it in like that. Yes, you can bake it. How do you do yes. it? Do you just write it out and then hand it to you guys or how does it work? Sometimes they bring the recipe from many, many years ago, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, the, the recipe could be 40 years old, 50 years old. Mm -hmm. So we clean it up mm -hmm. with the, my graphic designer. Next thing you know, we make it into this wonderful layout mm -hmm. that is going to be preserved here for many, many generations. This is not something that is going to scratch or fade or anything like that. The worst thing that could happen is to break it, but right. we can make another one. Please don't break it. And then we were able, you can even write a little note on the oh, back. You, you can personalize to. the back too with your own handwriting. You know, what a beautiful way to preserve memories from mom, you know, right here. Right there, a cookie plate for your Youngstown cookie oh, table. How much fun is that? This is, oh, we just absolutely love this platter. I don't know if you can see, 
We actually printed the pizzas right around here. It's and the design of the we, waffle oh, art thing. Absolutely, the yes. So good. And of course, you know, our tradition right here, Young Sun Cookie Table. It is been bought from many, many brides in the area. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I mean, from all over the United States, people that they move away from here and they want to preserve the, the tradition, they Whoa. just... Slice mm -hmm. of Youngstown, Absolutely, wherever you're Absolutely, yes. How much fun. All mm -hmm. right, let's give them the contact information. The uh, The phone number here is? 330-965-3822. And then the website is? The Art Cafe Ohio at Gmail. Oh, see how cool? And if you're at the mall and the door's open, just come on in. We're not too far from the Chick-fil-A. I think everybody knows where that oh, is. Yes. And people can pop in. Thank you for having us, oh, Eva. It is a pleasure. The yes. Art Cafe. Check it out here at the Southern Park Mall. That's Shop Talk for this week. That is so neat that you can get a Hi. recipe and the penmanship and everything on your plate. I know it's early in the year, but I know what I'm getting everybody for Christmas this year. <laughs> that's, the, that's what it's going to be. If you could just find the recipes, that's right. you'll be all set. All right, when we come back, uh, we meet up with Kelly Warren for Home yep. Advantage, and we're going to meet the cutest little boy, a nine-year-old boy, who's shooting foul shots and shooting all the way to Columbus. That's cool. It's going to be really Let's cool. Let's see it. Be right back. Hey everybody, I'm Mark Canzanetta and I want to welcome you to Oaxaca Taco and I want to invite you down to try our $39 family deal. Authentic Oaxaca flavors are packed into your choice of eight achote chicken or beef picadillo tacos, four mini pieces of elote street corn, chili lime tortilla chips, and two of our savory salsas, plus four churros with dulce de leche and four small worrito slushies. Just 39 bucks. Order at OaxacaTaco.com now. Oaxaca Taco. Eat more tacos. <laughs> on this property are like that big shed. I don't even want to call it. <laughs> it's, it's an outbuilding. Yeah, it's an outbuilding. It's an workshop, garage, <laughs> yes, store an building. What do I call it? Barn. That is not it. It's not an outhouse. <laughs> it's out not an outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it really all started with salt, with Himalayan sea salt. That's where it all started because of a patient who came in and told me about the benefits of salt therapy, which is inhaling uh, Himalayan sea salt, an aerosolized Himalayan sea salt. And I found that my patients were having fantastic results using salt therapy. And I wanted to know how could I incorporate the Himalayan sea salt into products that would benefit the sinuses and the skin. And that's where Salt Me was born. History is like a window into the past. In my History Press trilogy, Lost Youngstown, Historic Theaters of Youngstown, and Hidden History of Youngstown and the Mahoning Valley, learn little known facts and interesting tales from our storied past. All three are available at Barnes & Noble, fine local retailers, and Amazon.com. I'm Barbara Corcoran. In Youngstown, the agent I trust is Kelly Warren. Kelly can give you a guarantee to sell your home, instant offer, and the best marketing strategies in the Mahoning Valley. Get the option that's right for you. Go to kellysolda.com. We have such a legacy, created such a legacy here in the Valley, and we're very well respected by numerous manufacturers in the industry. Uh, we're a leader in our industry, and I, I want to continue that, we want to continue that, and we want to take it to the next level. Whatever that level may be, we're ready for it. So let yourself go to Duca, let yourself go. No, I just feel a little more relaxed for this edition of Home Advantage. How about you, Kelly? That's how it feels when you're hanging out in Lake Milton. It says life is better on the lake. It says right over there on a the little sign it inside. Is. And we're on Lake Milton today uh, talking about 
uh, different looking lots, not square or rectangle, but some right. have a little, some nuances to them, right? Irregular, we have irregular shaped lots. That's a nice way of saying Yes. Okay, and this is one of them. Yes. It's it's kind of a, you know, part where the house is, but then there's a little path that takes you down to the lake. Yeah, you know, on lakefront properties, but can be anywhere. Not everybody can be, there's only so much room right around the lake. Mm -hmm. And everybody wants a piece of the action. So doing something like this where you're set just a little bit back, but you still have that jaunt over to the water gives you the rights to then have a dock. Mm -hmm. So we see things like this in Lake Milton, but you can see irregular shape lots anywhere. Is it my job to know what the property looks like or is it your job to tell me what the property looks like? So for a buyer, it's public record. They'll see it when they're looking on kellysolda.com or Realtor or anywhere that they're looking for properties. They'll see the map and the plot lines. Um, but the real estate agent can be helpful in that too and making sure that they're aware of it and providing them those documents. And then to go a step beyond just seeing it on the computer at, or a piece of paper, they can actually have a survey done where pins are put out and then they can physically see and know this is my property. Would you recommend that? Because I think throughout the year, sometimes a neighbor starts to mow a little further over and kind of just gradually take over lawn space and things yeah. like that. In a regular neighborhood on a regular shaped lot, they're not usually performed, but on something irregular like this, it would be a good idea. Or on something where if you're looking at the map and you think, this doesn't look right like that shed is is a lot closer to my property then it would be a good idea to have one done right. and sometimes when you're getting a, a bank loan to purchase the property sometimes the banks or the county require the survey and you were telling me there are two different types of ways to do that right well so when you have your property and you have somebody else's shed or fence or something driveway on your property mm -hmm. there's two different things that are happening there either an easement which is done with permission i give you permission to put your driveway a foot onto my property line to make your driveway double spaced uh -huh. um, and so that gets written into the deed that there's permission to do so or an encroachment would be if somebody just takes it upon themselves and puts their shed or their fence up on your property they're encroaching into your property that's when it's done without permission if i'm buying a property and somebody already has that easement mm -hmm. can i say no that's not how i want it nope if it's an easement expressly written in the deed you get it with the property so it, it transfers good information yeah. okay if you'd like to see this irregular lot which is yeah. really pretty right here on the banks of Lake Milton how do they do it uh, they go to kellysolda.com uh, or they can give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689 all right that's a very regular version <laughs> of home advantage Well, I'm gonna try one of these JoJo's. I know. They've been sitting in front of me for so long. Do you dunk in ketchup or just go? Uh -uh. Obviously not. Mm -hmm. She just goes right in. That's right. <laughs> I love JoJo's. Thank you, Kelly. Good job. All right, ready to see his little basketball? Yes, this the is interesting. Cutest darn thing. A uh, little guy that can shoot foul shots, and then at the end he teaches me no. how to shoot foul shots. <laughs> I don't know. All right, <laughs> here we go, little shooter. Did somebody show you how to do foul shots? My dad helped me do my foul shots. Yeah? He taught you the way to do it? Yeah. And it's been working? Mm hmm Johnny Lowe and his dad love basketball. His dad is the coach, and Johnny's one of the players on the third grade team at St. Charles in Boardman. And dad had an idea. Um, he asked me. What did he say? He said, do you want to do the competition? Yeah, and what did you say? Yes. The Knights of Columbus free throw contest was coming up in Garrettsville, and Johnny was one of the nine-year-olds in the competition. Had you ever done anything like that before? No. Um, there was a lot of people. Um, there was a lot of people shooting, mm -hmm. and it was a big gym. It's a big gym. Mm -hmm. so whether you're nine or twenty-nine, it's easy to get nervous at a competition like that. So how did it go? Tell me. Um, first, you did the practice shots, or did you just step right up and do it, or how did it go? Three practice shots, then you started doing the 25 shots. Okay. Did you start hot? Did you start cold? Do you remember? Cold. So you missed a few in the beginning? Yeah. Were you nervous? Um, kinda. So then what? Um, I made a lot of shots, then I missed some, then I made the last three. Three in a row? Mm-hmm. Johnny's final score was 14 makes out of 25 shots. Best in the boys' nine-year-old group that day.
did you think that was pretty good or were you happy with that or were you like, eh, I should have done better or what? I was happy with that. You're happy with 14? Mm -hmm. I think we'd all be happy. And Johnny took time out to show me his technique. Are you going to help me, teach me how to do it correctly? Mm -hmm. Take me through it again. First is what? Um, I dribble four times or five. Mm -hmm. And then I look at the hoop mm -hmm. and then I dribble a few more times and then I shoot. And most of the time they go in. With his win in Garrettsville, he's advanced to the state championships in Columbus on the 16th. Are you nervous about that at all or do you feel pretty good about it? What's your thinking going in? Nervous and excited. Yeah. Have you been practicing? Yeah. And if this practice was any indication, he'll be just fine from the line. A swish would grant his wish. There you go, you guys. Off to Columbus he goes. He's Yay. competing on the 16th. That's so amazing. Next Saturday, and then we'll find out. We'll give you an update. See how that's he does. That's great. That's outstanding. Pretty cool. Yes. That's real cool for a nine-year-old to do that. That's I outstanding. Agree. This has been pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love it. Haven't you guys? I wouldn't even it? know what to get. See, now I'm more confused than I was before I walked That's in. Okay. Get a That's little okay. bit of everything. Okay, do you have like a sampler platter? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to have a little chicken. Yeah, you have um, a. You don't have to have the bones in the chicken though. You got no, nuggets and things we like have, that. We have nuggets and we have tenders, and it's the same taste profile or, or recipe mm. profile. We marinate it in the same stuff that we do our bone-in chicken, uh -huh. so it's outstanding. Yeah. Nice. Good. And the chicken sandwich is the same way. Everything's marinated in the same uh, marinade, so it's the same uh, uh, flavor profile. Is there anything you, like, go for if you're just standing in the back and they cook too much of it? <laughs> uh, I'm a big greens guy. Are you? Yeah, I'm a big greens guy. It's not just me. It's not just me. Yeah. And if there's a piece of, like, chicken or something like that. Yeah. Whose recipe is this? That, that well, actually, I want to say... Um, Chef Anthony that was here years ago, God, he, God bless, he passed away. Mm -hmm. He uh, he came up with that, and it's just it's just outstanding. He, he, did, he did a really good job. We kept it, the recipe that absolutely sang. So. Go ahead, Beth. All it's right. so far away, but go ahead. Uh, yeah. I know. She was so concerned about her outfit. I know. Well, here's I, where I, things I, go I wrong. Get, I had to get her a bowl. I, I, she was just talking. I had mm -hmm. to get her a bowl. Mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day on, on yeah. Sunday. St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. We're closed on Sunday. Okay. But we're going to have all our special Emily specials. We're going to have shepherd's pie. We'll have, uh, obviously, corned beef and cabbage. We'll mm -hmm. have turkey Rubens. We'll have corned beef. All the Rubens is whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. So anything in a Greek joint, St. Patty's Day, <laughs> right. we'll right. have. We're going to be Irish that. for one day. Yeah, one day, we're, we're all good. We're all good. It's not even St. Patrick's no, Day, but, you know. okay. Well, hey, this, well, Greeks are usually late. <laughs> right. So now this one's going to be early. You're on See? like Greek standard time yes, most 40, of the time, right? 35 to 40 minutes late, no problem. Always. <laughs> but one day earlier the, yeah, are the yeah, Irish specials. I like it. Man. Well, thanks for having us. Beth, hey, thank, thank you. you. And thank thanks you. for all you do for all the uh, places here in Trumbull uh, County. Thank you very much. Yes. Like this, that. I know you enjoy it very much, but it really yes. helps these folks thank you. immensely. Thank you. So, thank you. All right, we always end the show on a retro commercial. And so we were, since we were at the seafood place earlier, we thought we'd do the um, Starkist, Sorry Charlie, the tuna guy. So Lauren would like me to remind you to watch us on all our pl uh, uh, platforms. That's it. Roku and Facebook and uh, Instagram and things and like YouTube. that. And YouTube. And YouTube, yep. And uh, thank you to Steel Light because they allow us to come out to great restaurants like this. Agreed. Great agreed, job. agreed. Should we say goodbye? See ya. See all right. Have a good Sunday, everybody. See you next week on Valley Spotlight. Molly, what's that? A pedigreed dog. Owning one shows my a good taste. Dogs? What do dogs do? Mostly they ask to go out. Also, they fetch. Woof. See that Starkist? But Starkist doesn't want tunas with good taste. Starkist wants tunas that taste good. See? Sorry, Charlie. Only good tasting tuna get to be Starkist. Good tasting 100% tuna filet. This is good tasting tuna. Get good taste. Get Starkist. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.